Hey there, fish fans. Captain Mark Johnson here, a.k.a. Hollywood from FloridaKeysFunFishing.com. I'm out here with the boys from Salt Strong, and we're out here playing with some redfish here in Venice, Louisiana. So we did a couple shindigs, a couple episodes on how to fish a pop and cork, how to rig a pop and cork. But one of the things that our viewers ask us all the time is, what's the best thing to fish under the pop and cork? So what I want to do is take a quick moment here and just give you guys some different thoughts and variations of things that you can fish productively under your pop and cork. So as everybody knows, we fish an awful lot of soft plastics. So you can fish manufacturer side, you can fish whatever style size you want. We have the Z-Man Slam Shady. It's been our favorite this week. We fish a lot of longer jerk bait styles. And again, out here in Louisiana, we're catching big redfish. We're fishing bulls that are averaging between 15 and 40 pounds. So the bigger the soft plastic sometimes, be the better. Colors, you can pick your favorite, different shapes, different actions. Okay, you got plenty to choose from. You can also, which of course, by the way, always go with your favorite jig head out here. Half ounce for us, wide gap worm hook. You need a big hook, big worm, catch big redfish. Also, believe it or not, one of the things that you would never think of that's very common out here is to fish the Johnson Silver Minnow Spoon. Now, this spoon has been around a million years. Fresh water, salt water, inshore fishing for sure. But when you put that on the, underneath the pop of cork and you're moving your cork and you're working it and this is flutter and it's swimming around, a lot of times this draws some pretty amazing bites. And it just gives you something different to play with than a soft plastic. You can also fish tried and true bucktail. My favorite bucktail is, of course, the Hank Brown. It's the best bucktail made on the planet. Epoxy paint, it's very high end, very good. But out here, any bucktail, any style, you can fish that under your pop and cork. And if you're back home and you're fishing trout doing different things, you can tip this with shrimp. You can fish this with a, with a, with a worm on the back half to give it a little more action. You can fish it naked, as we call it. All right, so just to give you a quick little rundown, fishing the pop and cork doesn't have to be live bait if you don't want it to be. You can fish a whole variety of artificials. All shapes and sizes, bucktails and spoons, all of it's productive under the pop and cork. For all our viewers and fans out there, if you ever have questions on how to fish a pop and cork, rig a pop and cork, ideas on how to set this all up, you can always reach out to us at FloridaKeysFunFishing.com. You can certainly find us on Salt Strong. There's always a link attached to our videos. All right, that's it for today, guys. We're going fishing. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong in wet lines today